Did we just make a profit? Well, I believe that we did. Yes! Yes! Hey guys, this is Andre from Cryptomaton and in this video I want to give you a quick breakdown of the updates, improvements, uh, bug fixes and general progress of my latest cryptocurrency trading bot. If you haven't been following this channel along, now this is a great time to do so, so make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. If you haven't been following the progress of this tool, I made a cryptocurrency trading bot that goes on the Binance announcement page, picks new coin listings and then buys those from gate.io. In the past couple of months, there's been a lot of change on how this project actually works. So if you want to see the whole development history, how the idea came about and why I think this is a potentially good strategy, feel free to browse some of my previous videos as I go into a bit more detail about the rationale behind the tool. Now, without further ado, let's jump into it, guys. Before we jump into analyzing our gains and sharing the results of this tool so far, I think it's important that we understand how these came to be and the changes that were needed in order to make this possible. So thank you to everyone who has contributed on this code. Let's jump into it. One of the first issues that came up on this tool was the fact that the bot wouldn't sell. Now this happens because, or should I say this happened, because of two main reasons. One of them is that the balance was not enough, so Gate.io was throwing an error saying, hey, you're trying to sell more than you have. You can't possibly sell that. Turns out that the algorithm wouldn't be taking into account the fees associated with the trades and therefore would sometimes try to sell more than it actually bought. This was fixed and then the next issue was the issue with a trailing stop logic that did not work properly. Now if you don't know what a trailing stop loss is, it's a mechanism in order to lock in profits. Let's say you place a trade and you buy here and then the price jumps here. Now you will have a trailing stop loss, a few percentages underneath the current price to lock in that profit. So no matter whether the coin goes up or down, if it goes down, you've still locked in a, let's say 20% gain. And the more it climbs, the more the trailing stop loss follows. Now there was some issue in the code with that particular logic, but that was addressed as well and has proven to work. We have also had massive improvements in the speed of execution for this tool. Now, if you have watched one of my previous videos, I discussed the idea of a five minute delay on the Binance announcement page. So that's Binance timestamping something five minutes before the announcement is actually published. Now, I discussed this at great length in my previous video, so you might want to check that out for yourself. Uh, but in essence, uh, there's two ways why this could possibly happen. One of them is that there's some caching issues and the other one uh, was the fact that Binance could have possibly been engaging in insider trading. Well, after testing it a little bit more and with the new speed improvements, I am pretty positive that there's no foul play, at least not on the Binance announcement page. Now, in order to understand why this is a big deal, the bot uses an unofficial Binance API endpoint in order to query the announcement page. So this is the endpoint that populates the Binance announcement page, what you actually see on this announcement page here. Right, so we've started with one of the endpoints that were available at the time that we kind of discovered and it turned out obviously that we had some significant delay before the bot can actually detect this announcement and act on it. Uh, massive thank you to the person on Discord who shared this list of unofficial Binance API points, most of them for the announcement page. One of them's a lot quicker than the previous ones. So we've moved down from five minutes in speed of execution down to a few seconds. This is also made possible by another contribution which randomizes the queries that we send to this API in order to stop it from caching. So bypassing the X cache of these endpoints, which is great stuff. And now for the juicy moment I roll here, let's talk about the profit. Is this bot profitable? Does it have a future? Should you even bother with it? Okay, so what we have here in the background is the log while the bot was buying MOVR. Right, so the bot bought MOVR, and then you can see that the log 
uh, gives you certain information about how this buy is going and how it's being monitored and whether uh, it will be sold at a profit or a loss. So you can see here that the bot updated the take profit to 18.2 and the stop loss to 11.3. You get a few iterations later, you get the last price and you can see the last price climbing, climbing and then going down and then going further down and once it reached that threshold, then the bot immediately sold Mover with a 10% gain. That's a gain on a new coin announced on Binance and bought on Gate.io. Now let's move to the second example. In this example, the coin that we're looking at is ENS. Now, if you follow the logs, you will see that ENS was bought and then the algorithm is looking and polling the current price and comparing this against the trailing stop loss and trailing take profit logic. Now, if you follow the log, you will see that the bot eventually triggered a sell order with a profit of 10 and a relative profit of 25%. Again, this just goes to show that the strategy seems to be working. Um, it's quite early stage at the moment, so I wouldn't encourage you to try this out on live mode. But if you want to have fun with it on test mode or if you want to contribute to the code base, I will leave the links down below to the GitHub repo as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how you can set this up on your own end. And finally, I would like to address a concern that a lot of people have raised for open sourcing this cryptocurrency trading bot. Now the question goes, if a lot of people use this bot, won't that mean that this bot will effectively lose its edge in the market and not be profitable anymore? Okay, and I have a couple of answers in order to try and tackle this and explain that it's actually not necessarily a bad thing. First of all, we just consider the trading volume. Now the trading volume made by a couple hundred people using this tool will not be nearly enough in order to destabilize the market and move it in a meaningful direction. It's actually just a speck of dust compared to the initial trading volume of some of the coins that are being announced for trading on Binance, like literal millions. The second argument that I would like to give against this is the fact that, well, if more people are using the bot, that will become more competitive, that is normal and natural. But what will also happen as a side effect of more people using the bot is that the market may one day eventually be moved. By the market moving, that means that the market will actually go even higher. So we won't have a 20% increase, you might have a 60% increase if indeed it does reach a stage where it can move the market. More competition means that the price is more bullish. Um, all in all, I don't think there are long-term implications to more people using this bot and I don't think that it will lose its edge. Ultimately, this bot is made as an experiment and for fun and in order to see if this kind of strategy would actually work. Um, so while a lot of people are chasing gains with it, a lot of other people are just really curious to understand how it actually works and uh, to just learn crypto trading and algo trading in general. I think it serves a lot more purpose to have this project open source. That's why I have open sourced it rather than keep it closed. If you like this project and you would like to receive more updates on it, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Again, this project would not have been possible without the contributions of the people on GitHub who decided to add to the code base, as well as the people who have decided to sponsor this project via Discord. Big thank you guys, um, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to get involved with the project, I will leave a Discord link down below and you can talk algo trading along other crypto fanatics. Thank you guys, hope you like this video, I'll speak to you next time, have a nice day.